the mega DIY battery build project. Today I'm going to present you the idea behind this project and hopefully you get along with me and help me out with some of the stuff that I need to present you. But before we get to that, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and also remember to subscribe to the channel because since we changed the format, we are going to continuously upload videos asking questions or answering questions and present to you the current stage of every single project that I'm working on. So welcome back guys. Hopefully you are watching this video the day next or the day after uh, the last one that I uploaded because that's the main idea. No edit, raw content, just present you what I have. And today I have something special because yes, um, last video I present to you that I'm working on a battery project because I got into crypto mining, right? And that little beast that, that it looks like a mess right there, uh, it's drawing a lot of power and I need to change my battery, my current battery, which is the one that it's gonna be on this side over here. And we're gonna get into that. Uh, so I want to present you everything. So the the reason that I'm making a bigger battery and not using my current design, and I talked about this on my last project, is because of this little suckers right here. Uh, I don't know if I can so, uh, focus. There you go. These are the standoffs. And when I, if I show you this little thingy, which is something that, let me just focus back. This thing was the first idea I came into my mind to build a large battery pack. But the problem that I have with this is uh, it takes a lot of time, even though I have a bunch of printers. And it also, I will have to print so many parts or standoffs that it will take a lot of time and I don't have a lot of time. I want to build this as fast as possible because the Kuren project, the one that I'm working on with the crypto mining, the faster I get to a profitable point of view or, or, or profitable level, the faster it's gonna be for me uh, you know, to pay back whatever I'm using uh, when it comes to power and stuff like that. I'm not gonna get into the details about the battery and the stuff that's gonna be on the next video, but today I want to present you the main structure for it, okay? Uh, what I'm doing, so let me just show you over here. So this is the battery that I'm building. This is the prototype, okay? Um, as you can see, it's fairly massive. Let me see if I can turn this. Um, you got one side that is a little bit longer or wider than the other. Uh, I don't know if you can tell over here. As you can see, one side is a little bit bigger. The other one is not. There's a reason for that. And let me try to uncover this so you can see what's behind. So those are the cells. Let me just get this. The prototype, it's made out of PVC, of course. And this is the main fuse or the main spacer, which is going to arrange the cells. We have the fuses over here, as you can see. And on the top, there are going to be the aluminum bus bars. Uh, basically, we're going to have the aluminums over here. And one of the reasons we have a bigger side is because we want to extend the bus bars like this. They're going to extend to the side and hopefully we can attach a bigger bus bar all this way. Now, like I said, I don't want to get way too, too much into the details, but some of the stuff that we are reusing is the, the fuses. These fuses are rated for two amps. Uh, they pop around seven more or less they work trust me they work um like i mentioned the bus bar pvc foam panels also called pvc panels believe it or not they cannot cut on fire they have a chemical that is a fire suppressant meaning that i actually put one of these on open flame and nothing happened like i 
turn on the stove and put it there and nothing happened and that's a reason for this and which i'm going to talk about in the next video um but yeah what i want to what i think i'm going to do is to instead of doing this for some reasons the pvc it's not that good when it comes to screwing the the terminals that i'm going to use the this this type of screw right here let me let me show you the type of screw that i'm using it's not that great when it comes to the pvc like if you put too much pressure on it it's just gonna break so what we are thinking and by we it means basically me i want to print a bunch of this little part right here which i can do extremely fast with my printers like each little part takes like half an hour uh with the details that i'm doing and i can make a bunch of them i have around six printers that i'm currently working with the other ones that are just shut down but i can pump out as many parts that i need to exchange this little part so that's the basic idea like i said this video is mostly to give you an idea of what i'm trying to to do because i need feedback and maybe you can tell me okay how really if you change this or you do that it's gonna work it's not well we're waiting for you but the main concern for me instead of using this which is a little bit faster to do on the cnc is still the screws uh the screws you need to type them really like really really strong because you want to have a nice contact between the boss part and the fuse uh how to call that the fuse pad right here so you got the cells and you got the the we call it tapas which is basically the face plates which is this one now at first i try to create this little i don't know if the light it's going to allow me okay there you go i actually tried to make that because i thought well you can use it as a guy for the when you're closing everything together but it turns out that it's not going to work so there's going to be a little change that i'm going to do because okay let me trace back a little bit the main idea is if i can have the spacer right here let me see if i can put it back on by the way if you have a cnc and you want to do this do not do the whole size 18. it needs to be bigger don't ask me how i know i'm having so much issues with this because of the size this is one of the main reasons anyway let me just leave it like that this is one of the main reasons why i cannot have something this big it needs to be little parts because if you have an issue uh i don't know with this model you will have to take everything apart and then it becomes a problem and i just wanted to put it so i could show you come on it's a good thing that we are recording this is me getting used to not editing and not removing parts there you go there you go you are not there you go okay so the main idea behind the battery is to when you have your models you're going to have your bus bars going to one way one side we're going to have a bigger bus bar over here this is an adp module and then you're going to have a plate like this one on top of it now we or i want to use some type of call co of cover over here which i think is going to be 3d printed right the whole uh let me say how i say this the whole idea is to use the compression and use the pcb to flex a little bit let me see if this works can you see it there you go the pcb kind of flexes a little bit and when you are screwing down the plates is going to have enough flexibility to keep pressure so the next steps are going to be to you know 3d print some parts over here and maybe have some type of 3d printed uh 
I don't know, terminals around here with some screws and stuff like that. So everything is going to be cased out. Um, at least that's the idea. Hopefully it makes sense. So let me just recap a little bit. This is the project that I'm currently working on in parallel with this little baby that, that I have right here. Um, it is a big one. And this is why I don't want to be making a bunch of videos just to do one thing. I need to constantly ex be expressing the idea behind the or the concepts because now you guys know what I'm doing and you can give me a feedback and you know maybe we can change some stuff but this is the first part of the mega DIY battery build and yeah it is a messy one and hopefully you guys are going to understand what I'm trying to do now when it comes to the modules I want to put 14 modules using this size only for this thing and that's going to be a huge one now having said that going over my main uh list over here i think that's basically it that's all i want to say it's that we have a pvc uh, panels covering the battery we are going to exchange we're going to exchange this part with 3d printed uh parts like this and also if it works i think it's going to be better in the long run because then it means that i can massively produce this part instead of making massive uh rum productions of this one and it will mean that if this works it's going to be better for you guys if you want to purchase something like this big and talking about purchase remember that we still have the five percent discount on the diy battery store website get it Seriously, guys, uh, just share the content with your friends and family if, and help them build a bigger battery and help me support the channel. But thank you for watching. I'm sorry that I'm rambling. I'm trying to get used to this recording videos and schedule them into YouTube. Uh, but like I said, this is just the main idea. I want to know what you guys think now that you have a better grasp of the design and the choices that I made. And this is me trying to get into a conversation of what you guys think. Uh, my next video, there's going to be some topics that are going to be difficult for the DIY community when it comes to batteries. And, and it has something to do with testing and capacity and stuff like that. And hopefully you guys can help me out. Uh, but in the meantime, remember, share like and subscribe please do and also remember jesus christ love you and i'll see you the next time bye bye